Greetings, my friends. This is Mike once again. I am here today to break this long dry spell of not making any videos. I wanted to share today a interesting thing about energy and the law of attraction and my own unique experience of it. And now this video is actually a part of it. And then I also wanted to share a mantra that I came up with earlier today that was amazing and I thought it could help some people. So the, the energy thing, I love making videos. I love speaking. And yet I haven't made a video now in many months. And so it's really strange when that happens. It's like a energetic snowball. It's kind of like a, it's momentum, I guess. It's like when you don't do something for such a long time, you convince yourself that it's getting harder and harder to break that spell and get back into the swing of doing it regularly. But it, what's crazy is that you can just instantly d dissolve that momentum and that snowball just by acting and taking action against it in a, the simplest ways. Like, it doesn't have to be complicated. Just do something. Like with this video, my goal for this video was to just sit down and make the video really just for myself because I love making these, but it's so easy to get in the way of doing it. And I just, I feel like it can help people out there. And of course, that would be amazing. I'd love that. But you just have to figure out how to get out of your own way before you can have an impact on other people. And it's that momentum of just feeling like you can't do it. And then it's so easy to just break the momentum. Just simply do something. Do anything to move towards what you want to do. It doesn't have to be a huge step. It doesn't have to be like this huge thing. Just anything. Just do it. It's easy. <laughs> and and it, I want to talk about law of attraction more in these videos just because it's it's such a weird thing. It's so misunderstood. It makes so many people feel frustrated and anxious and like they suck at creating whenever it's if it's not if it's not seen as a law of love it's just not it's not uh, uh, I'll talk more about it but the law of attraction is a law of love and you can't you can't get it wrong you can you can create experiences that aren't very enjoyable but everyone's creating all the time. That's how, that's how consciousness works, is it creates reality. And we choose how it happens by creating the experience, what things mean to us. Is it something wrong with us, or is it just the world that we live in that we're here to change? And so I, I love speaking like this. I love... I love sound. I love using my voice to conduct my conduct and project my intentions. And I love being real. I love making videos just for the sake of making the video and not even thinking about what people would think about it. I mean, that's that's reality. What's real is your perception of yourself. And and what a crazy world with all of the energy going on these days like I can feel so amazing and great one day and then the next day I can just feel completely hopeless and a big part of my journey lately has been it's like how do you how do you integrate that like there's nothing wrong with that that's just how life is but it's just fascinating. It's like a, 
it's like a roller coaster going just gradually upward sometimes more and sometimes less but it can just crash and it would just the energy is just nuts these days and so a big part of learning to be peaceful and happy is just writing that like we're gonna we feel happy sometimes and sometimes we feel shitty and this and this is how it is but we can always choose to create our own experience even if we're having a crappy day like give the crappy day a new meaning like you're here to experience the crappy day not because you screwed up or it's your fault but because there's millions and millions and people feeling having crappy days all the time and what if you could be one one person that changes that and says like i'm here i'm here having a crappy day but i'm going to give it a meaning of that i'm here to feel it and be a part of it and not judge myself for it and just forgive the world for being a world where crappy days are a reality and so law of attraction roller coaster rides energetic snowballs and momentum we all want to just create that inner experience that we th- that we think the things out there will give us we don't actually want the things out there and that's bizarre to think about because we're just taught to think the things out there will make us happy when we just want that happiness and what's to say we can't create that happiness right now like give the things around you this huge awesome cosmic meaning and you can create that feeling that you want now right here and then all of the things out there can just come when they're meant to come doesn't matter how fast and so that's the thing is we are trying so hard to be somewhere outside of where we are it's like the whole society is built on trying to get somewhere that you are not at currently it's just it's just it's crazy it's a crazy world it's so it's completely upside down from the reality of the heart from the reality of who we are as creations of God so the mantra I was speaking about is it's a self-love mantra a breathing mantra where on the in-breath you mentally say in your mind I am loved and I am complete And on the out breath, it is all is loved and I am reborn. I am loved and I am complete. All is loved and I am reborn. Who doesn't that turn society's ideas on top of its head? Yeah. I am completion already. My breath is what I desire. My own love and self-acceptance is what I desire. I don't desire a new job, relationship, things, whatever. I just want that feeling that they symbolize. I just want myself. (laughs) So I play around with that mantra and just breathe that in as like a silent liquid golden light energy I am loved and I am complete all is loved and I am reborn because in every moment our relationship with ourself our life and the world is completely brand new it's up to us just choose it just choose what you want it to be in each moment Let your higher self change how you see yourself in the world in every moment. Just be perpetually reborn. And in every moment, just rebirth. 
The past means nothing. It's not even, it's not real. The future is not even real. What's only real is everything right here, right now. Our completion as who we are, really. And what's the law of attraction got to say to that? I mean, it's really just a bunch of bullshit. You know, it's the whole visualizing cars and, oh man. You are the law of attraction. There's nothing beyond you. Just create that experience in yourself and let the universe serve you and bring that feeling to you manifested in ways you could have never imagined and far greater. <laughs> so anyway, this, this has been fun. I love making videos and I really want to get back into it and get over my silly self-criticisms and doubt, which aren't even real. And I hope that this video made a difference for someone out there. A little reminder that you are far more than your conditions or your thoughts or beliefs or circumstances or whatever it is that you think is wrong with you. You are amazing and perfect exactly as you are. And I see that in you because I see it in myself and I love you and I will see you in the next video. God bless you.